Hello everyone, here I have a 58 inch TV and it, the TV went black all of a sudden. You can see that it's black and then it turns on, it shows the sh uh, Sharp logo and then it turns off. So let's have a look at how to fix this TV. Uh, the first thing is you have to take off the legs there to remove the plastic back case uh, because with the legs off then it can uh, come up there. With that removed you have access to the inside, there's your main board. And that does all the processing of uh, the computer. Uh, it's like a computer basically. And then this is the power supply board. I'll have a, have a look at that. And this is the TCOM board. Um, this TV was a little bit interesting. I saw that it inside had some sawdust. So I'll have to be vacuuming this out uh, there. This small cable that goes to your main power supply board, it goes to the back lights. Um, and so I'll be testing that cable out. And those are the images of each board in case you have to order any of the parts. So I'm using my LED tester and I put the link in the description if you need to get uh, this device here. It's really handy for uh, testing the backlight because it will um, inject the voltage to verify if your backlights are working. Now, when I turn off the light, you can see the backlights do turn on, but my LED tester, the voltage was fluctuating. And that means that there's probably a bad a shorted LED in the back, so we'll have to take the screen off. And there, uh, to do that, to get the at the panel, there's some things that we need to remove so that we can flip the panel uh, onto the screen. So we have to remove all the you know speakers and different connectors there at the bottom of the screen. There's also these uh, ribbon cables that flip up the little black tab, and then you can take it the two ribbon cables. And there are also some screws that hold on this plastic case with that, it, then it can freely move. And then we can slide out the LCD uh, PCB there. With that, you can flip over the TV and then going around the outside, we're just removing the plastic bezel around the TV. You just use your hands and then pull uh, it up there, going on each of the sides. And then we can flip the circuit board over and then tape it, it onto the screen with electrical tape so that we can remove the LCD. I got uh, two red suction cups from uh, Canadian Tire or any hardware store. You could, should be able to get it. Um, they're really necessary for removing the LCD because you can't really use your fingers. It's very easy to break the LCD. There are also some... Um, little uh, screens there that you can uh, tape together some uh, uh, di dispensing uh, these dis disperse the diffusion I guess they're called diffusion uh, light sheets and we can test each LED strip by injecting some voltage in there using the LED tester and going down each row and and the whole row should light up and you can see there is actually one LED that is broken there was actually two on, on this strip just going through each of the row, identifying uh, all the broken LEDs. And then when you've uh, identified a broken LED, uh, oh, uh, we can uh, fix them. So an, a good LED should go on and these LEDs are three volts. And then using a screwdriver, you can take off the little plastic light diffuser uh, that goes on top of the LED. And right underneath that, you can look, the LED is all black. That is a bad LED. And this whole TV will not work because uh, of this one light or multiple lights on the back. Just using some snippet tools, I can just remove the old LED. And I'm just using some liquid solder uh, on those pads there. And then we can put our replacement LED, which I put in the description uh, as well. Now, there is positive and negative. In this case, my positive is on the right-hand side and negative is on the left-hand side. And on the back of the LED, the little small pad is uh, positive and the big pad is negative. So putting it on the correct orientation, it should be in the same ori uh, orientation as the other LEDs. Then I'm using my uh, heat gun, 300 degrees for a couple seconds there to get it on. And then uh, using some shoe glue, I'm using that to uh, glue on the uh, light di dispenser back on there, uh, diffuser, and then uh, testing it out and it's working. Before you put everything back together, just flip it over and plug it in, reattach your power button and turn it on to verify that all the lights are working. And you can see from the back here, when I turn it on, all the lights are turning on. And then 
we can lift it up and see all the lights there. You, you want you could leave it on for um, uh, a couple minutes just to verify that your solder job was good, but uh, uh, in my case it was good. And then I'm putting everything back together, and then we'll test it out. You can see it goes on, and then um, it doesn't turn off. It goes back into the main settings there. The reason why these uh, TVs break so easily is uh, you need to turn down the backlight voltage, the brightness there, because that makes the LEDs break. So please do that, go into settings and reduce it around 50%. That will ensure your TV lasts a lot longer. See you guys in the next video.